Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Mock Interviews. If you want to be part of these interviews, all you need to do is comment below and I'll get in touch to sort out one for yourself as well. It's all free service and costs you nothing. By the way, you need to give me two promises or the consents before you appear to the interview. The first one is you need to ensure you come well prepared for the interview as all I want from yourself to be a successful in your final interview. The second promise is you need to ensure press the like and subscribe to the channel. Let's enjoy the interview. Thank you very much here for joining in. So my first question is, can you confirm your name and date of birth, please? Yes, sir. My name is Unip Hedrisha and my date of birth is 18th of August, 1996. Can you describe the course you are studying? Yes, sir. My proposed course is MSc Management with Project Management awarded by BPP University and it's a full time 12 month course and with 180 credit hours and the modules. They have basically uh, uh, divided this uh, course in three terms and in term one, we are going to read uh, uh, personal effectiveness leading through digital disruption, global strategy and sustainability. And the term two is uh, for data driven decision uh, for business and a customer experience strategy, uh, advanced uh, project management essentials. Uh, whereas term three is the final term and uh, the modules we are focusing are like uh, advanced project management and business project. Thank you very much. So why you have chosen this course? So basically my intentions are to uh, build my own business here in Pakistan. So this uh, course will provide me uh, a lot of benefits like academically and professionally and academically I will learn uh, leadership skills to do effective management and uh, with at competent level with specialist knowledge in dealing with projects. And after uh, completing my course, when I will come back to Pakistan, there are a lot of job opportunities also for me. And uh, this will give, uh, I will, I can work as a project coordinator, a project analyst or a product development officer. And uh, my main role will be in operations and management. So I will be responsible for managing and uh, uh, looking of a project, its scope, its time and its cost, uh, and also about plan for project, uh, communicate plan and allocating tasks and milestones. So uh, this will provide me some uh, business skills also. So man, that I have already said you that my main intentions are to uh, build my own uh, uh, company over here. Thank you much. Are you required yeah. to do placement as part of this course? Uh, no, sir. And why do you want to study at this university? Sir, uh, there are a couple of reasons that I have chosen this university. Uh, first, first of all, it's a very uh, suitable option for me and it's one of excellent and reputable UK universities. Uh, they have a strong uh, uh, research based and professional focus at the same time. They took first place in the 24 leading group of Russell uh, leading universities. Uh, Russell group of leading universities uh, for postgraduate students in employment in highly skilled occupations and their course fee is quite reasonable. The teachers are most experienced and have industry backgrounds and my pro proposed course is up to date and, and as per industry requirements that these are the main reasons that I have chosen this university. Thank you very much. Uh, did you research other universities? Yes, sir. I have searched a couple of universities, including Northumbria Universities, uh, Northumbria University, and uh, their course is MSc International Project Management, and they are charging uh, sixteen thousand pound fees from international students. And the uh, major focus of their uh, course uh, modules are like uh, strategic management, uh, uh, project implementation in a uh, multinational context, uh, project uh, fin international financial and contractual management and uh, uh, managing programs and pro uh, projects, uh, researching methods for uh, 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 professional practice and uh, like uh, pupil management in uh, 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 global organizations, academic language skills and uh, uh, professional practice for project management project. And the other is a uh, new college for humanities and their course is MSc project management and they are charging uh, almost uh, 21,700 pounds fees from international students and they, they are focusing on agile project management and uh, analytics, uh, construction management, uh, leadership, uh, uh, leading and uh, managing technical projects and uh, uh, organizational communication and uh, project business analysis. Thank you much. So why you have chosen to study in the UK rather than in your home country? 
Sir, well, uh, I can also study here in Pakistan, but uh, by selecting UK, I really uh, maximize my gain and benefits from study because UK is UK education is up to mark, and uh, the duration of uh, course is uh, one year rather in our countries two year, and uh, they uh, basically focus uh, more uh, more on practical education. While in our country, it's uh, theoretical based, and we have to memorize the books and uh, then appear in the examinations. So there is no critical uh, analysis uh, and uh, no teamwork, uh, and uh, the methodologies of UK teaching methodologies of UK is up to mark. That's why these uh, I have selected uh, UK for my studies. Did you research any other countries before deciding to study in the UK? Well, sir, I have searched uh, like Canada and Australia, uh, but the main thing is that they, these are also good countries, but uh, their living expenses high and their course duration is two, of two years, while UK is giving me for one year, and uh, their uh, tuition fee is much more high than UK. So uh, this this why that's why I have chosen UK. Uh, I prefer UK more. Thank you very much. Uh, what course did you last study? Sir, my last course was BS Electronics and Electrical Systems. So why did you did you had a break from previous study going into the master? Uh, no, sir. As my course was completed in June 2021, then I have recently enrolled in uh, my uh, course of uh, Advanced Electronics in National Institute of Electronics, and uh, now my course is going on. So I have applied for MS MSc program. So, what is your plans after completion of this course, sir? Uh, my uh, first of all, I will mention here uh, a quote of Peter Drucker that the best way to predict the future is to create it. It is one of my best uh, quote, and uh, this provides me give me a lot of strength and reasons to uh, uh, develop uh, to uh, uh, come uh, come create my own plans for my better future. and uh, as uh, i have uh, completed my bs electronics and electrical system and by adding this degree uh, will definitely provide me a great benefit because i have to build up my own electronics manufacturing company in here here in pakistan so i'm uh, pretty sure that i will achieve my goal in next 10 years thank you much uh, where you will be staying in the uk sir i have searched uh, i have uh, i have in contact with private accommodations like uh, chapter wide city and uh, they have provided me a uh, accommodation uh, almost uh, it's 1.7 miles from my university will you be staying with your family and friends yes sir one of my friend is going with me from here pakistan and i will be staying with him and how far is your accommodation from the university sir it's uh, around about 1.7 to 8 miles from my university and uh, i will be traveling like uh, uh it's 3 minute walks from my accommodation to west uh, field uh, cent shopping center and uh, i will take a bus journey from there to words uh, sevai circus station that's shafer bush and from there it's 3 minute walks to my university can you confirm how much is the course cost the fee uh course fees uh, my course fee is 12500 pounds and i have given a discount of 2500 pounds and my final academic uh, per academic fee is Ten thousand pounds. Thank you very much. Uh, how much funds uh, do you need to have for maintenance, sir? Uh, I need uh, around about seventeen uh, thousand pounds to eighteen thousand pounds. And how much are you financially supporting your studies in the UK, sir? My basically, my father is supporting my financial studies in UK. Are you required to return this funding to your sponsor? sir as i belong to pakistan so uh, our parents usually as uh, spend on us so that we can help them or we can uh, share them uh, share their uh, hardships that they have done for us so this is not that i will uh, give back money to them but after doing completion my course i will help out them so why are they funding your studies it's just quite relevant uh, uh, question Uh, why are this uh, funding my studies yeah why why your parents are funding your studies sir because i am son of them that's why i have, i have a great interest uh, in education to gain education and uh, they are uh, supporting my uh, interest so what are their interest actually what they going to gain supporting your studies uh sir basically uh, uh, they are not going to gain something but they are 
making me perfect for my life for my practical life do they sponsor any other members of the family uh yes sir we are uh, four members uh, five members in our family so they are also supporting my uh, uh, younger sisters also they are studying in universities here in pakistan okay that's all i have to ask from yourself is there any questions for me uh no sir thank you so much thank you neeb yeah that that was great yeah thank you very much and um yeah you did uh, quite quite good research about the studies about the accommodation about yeah how you're going to get from accommodation to the universities so it's it's all good actually um i, I can't add yeah more to that uh, all, all you need is a few more sort of practice so sort of yeah uh, yes. a few more times and that's it basically you'll be more fluent when, when it comes to actual sort of yeah um, interview uh, yes. and i'm sure you can easily crack that on basically yeah looking at it uh, generally I, I, I feel you have the pakistani i mean they they, they, they are a bit shy i mean to speak in english but you, yes. you are perfect you're perfect uh, your english is thank really you so good. much and um yeah I, I can't see any flaws there i'm i'm sure you you will do well uh, sir, so. this is because sir, my uh, when i was a child and uh, you know when you are a child the main thing is that your base should be very strong mm -hmm. and my parents provided me with my this with this space yeah, because i started yeah, I, I can see that I, absolutely i can see yeah, the difference yeah yes sir yeah thank you very much it was a pleasure yeah, to meet you and uh, i wish you good luck in your future Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for your precious time that you have given to me. Thank you. Do you want to turn off the um, your your video just just to see if that's that's gonna help? Uh, sir, it's okay. I have <laughs> put my mobile outside my house so that the internet do not uh, do not issue to me. Right. Okay. Uh, well, that's 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 something. Yeah, you would know about it. I I, I don't know who, what. Yes. How, how does that help? I don't know. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes in pakistan there's a issue with internet always no it's a lot better actually i can see straight yes. away yeah it works so yes we, yes sir. it's, we, it's we, because we it's call, out of my house it's it's we we generally call it jugaad yeah so jugaad ki yes, yes sir jugaad yeah jugaad wale yes, of course <laughs> right okay how, how are you today brother sir, i'm fine thank you yes sir, i'm fine thank you what about you yeah i'm very well thank you very much and uh thank you for being uh so so anxious and uh so so interested actually uh for this interview thank you so I much hope... uh, and i also appreciate you for this uh, thing that you are doing for students well actually uh it's been lots of questions actually that that was coming from uh, the the uh, student community about yeah about okay. how to get yes. through the the case yeah I, in fact yeah what the questions are and yeah what, what are the immigration sort of yeah queries this and that so i thought yeah why not let's start let's start something that will be more practical actually that that will help you along uh, the yes. way as well so sure, i hope sure. i mean actually um it's, it's been quite a positive response and uh the people like yourself basically yeah as long as i can help from myself i mean that's that's all i wish actually to to be successful yeah to to make you successful going forward in in your future i mean that's the all i want thank you thank um, you so much sir right okay so the drill obviously i mean you you would know about yeah the, basically i'm i'm going to make it a bit formal ask you the questions which are already provided so just to let you know the question will be pretty much similar uh, in the case interview okay. there will be immigration interview down the line <laughs> as well along the process so it will be pretty much similar sort of questions uh, so uh, as long you're prepared from the first interview i'm sure you can crack yeah the others interview yes sir also this provides me a lot of confidence uh, absolutely the more you practice yeah. uh, the more it, it become easy i mean simple as that so that there's no magic at all basically yes so the more you yes, practice sir. it and also yeah if if uh, a post the interview uh, i will judge your your answers i mean if there's any improvement anything i can add yeah to the answers as well so i can give you those, yes. those feedback as well no, and uh, sure, i hope uh, you can hear me now properly and we can start yeah as as a as a formal interview yes sir sure okay yeah so